What up, everybody? It's Ponter here, and today we've got a special game. A game on Xmas, and it's a rare Xmas on the USA side uh, perspective. And it's a pub game, so I apologize for that. There just haven't been... When we do get good match mode games, we're usually playing on the standard maps. But in the interest of showing you guys some different maps, especially... Everybody can learn uh, from... Everyone should learn Xmas on this side, the USA side, because it's challenging. Uh, you have the stupid bridge cutting you off from the three-pointer. You have another bridge over here. That's a stupid bridge. You have a really exposed... This is like your point because your spawn is quite easy to get to. This is your point, but it's it sucks to defend... The other team, they have an easier time getting into here. Like, they can spawn right about here and, and get guys into those woods easily. So, <laughs> it's also, this pub is great because this team is just awful. Uh, so, Elian sent, Elian sent the, uh, the replay. He posted it. So, maybe you guys have already seen it. I hope you did, haven't seen it. But, you know, now you can see my perspective. Teams are awful. Um, it's a pub game. What do you expect? And yeah, yeah, it's a gold. It's going to be a gold game. Let's just say that. Uh, you got Dex and Elliot are going to be the, the two guys with some brain cells. They're going to hold it down. But then you got the likes of Donald Duck. You got this Artyom guy who is just going to be arty noobing, like hardcore arty noobing. You notice they don't have an air player. Um... Like, this guy actually just rage quit. Uh, he's going to join back. Actually, oh, fuck, I gave him a color. There's mediums already off the bats. Uh, it's just a pub, great pub game. And, you know, off to a great start, just blobbing on the bridge. And, you know, somebody gets forced over. A lot of people, when they, when they see the pubs and they don't like the teams, they, like, leave. Or they spec. Or they, they might rage at some folks. Look at this. This is some big brain stuff. Like, oh, he's deleting half of his choppers? Jeez. This Seijun guy shouldn't be in gold. Uh, because he's actually good. Like, he just gave TA in a pub to the infantry player. And he's actually going to have a really good... Okay, good. It keeps his color. He's going to have a good game on air. He's going to be like the one competent player on gold. Every once in a while, there's a competent gold player. This surprises you. Um... Like, they had that inf guy. He was really good. Incoming fire. But anyways, off to a great start. Elian gets into the town. And this is what you have to do on this map if you want to play kind of straight up. And there's just a lot going on. Look, at there's amphibs from Claude. You know, you don't see that every day. But you do want to get into town. You get your inf in these buildings. You get your armor to sit on the point And just prevent this cap for as long as possible. You know, sucker them into piling up on the point like Clark is doing, like an idiot, and and then drop clusters on them and hopefully prevent it. But you see here, a spear gun is in there, like a virus, and he's going to get that cap. And now they've been completely wiped. They haven't capped the flanks yet. You know, they're kind of chopping it up. So it's two infantry players against Elian. It's just the worst case scenario for Elian. You know, you can tell his blood pressure is through the roof. He's got, he's just got like nothing going his way. Um, and let's see, can they get the cap? They can get the cap. That's great. Um, Elian's asking, yeah, for the, 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 the multiple medium attack choppers to help. And multiple medium choppers as armor, I would question that. I know people might say, oh, Hunter, you're biased because it's Donald Duck doing it and you just just don't like the guy, but I wouldn't do multiple choppers. I, in this situation with the Artie, like, maybe get one. Maybe get a shithead too, like hell. Um, you can do that as uh, as armor. But the main thing is just look at where your support is and try to keep your tanks there. And... I mean, you also should cuss this guy out and tell him don't get a fucking arty, especially as USA. But this guy's not firing on all cylinders. I think he's in the Discord, so 
Artyom, if you're watching this, just stop using Arty. Uh, we're going to see some ineffectual Arty out of this guy. Maybe just keep an eye on that as a, a side quest. If you really want to see some ineffectual Arty play. Oh, like, look, at I love this smoke. What's this smoke for? I don't know. So, JC Poppy and Fort that in safety. Really, really would have been nice over here on these exposed naked tanks that you're not supporting very well. You know, that would be a, probably a better place to drop your smokes. Maybe on your own units. You know, you couldn't even smoke that. And, yeah, that was, that's what happens when you play. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for the AT error. Oh, man. So, yeah, it's also, it's still 6v6, so the teams are fair. Look what Elian's doing. Elian's doing a great job over here. He's all he's got helped with uh, Dex and JC Poppy are right here, and Elian's just gonna outplay Spirit Gun. He's just gonna manhandle this guy. Look at the sniper in the sneaky spot. Good stuff. Over here on this side, you know it's not looking too good. The uh, their air, yeah. General X is just bullying them with his air. There's no support. Artyom is clueless. Um, the only thing that's going for them right now is that this team isn't pushing very well. Very well, and is busy overextending into the spawn. Um, I don't know who the Sergeant Pepper is. It's a pretty good player. Um, I've always, I've been trying to figure it out, but every time I'm like, oh, could it be this player? I see that player elsewhere. Uh, so I don't know who that is. Uh, if you want to identify yourself, if you're a Smurf or if you're just like a new player or something. You know, you're pretty good. If it's somebody who I shouldn't be saying this good, then, well, you, you, you tricked me. But they have some nasty air to airs. They've air to aired me a few times in like the last week. But, yeah, and it's not looking great. RDM has figured it out that he has to get AA instead of artillery when you're getting pushed back in this way. And, yeah, Donald's just blobbing the, the heavies, just waiting for a disaster. Like, a scout on this side is also pretty good. Good thing he didn't blob into that right away. Yeah, and you know if you're getting asked to put a in AT on this side of the bridge, it, the situation is not good. Um, what they really need is a more air. Uh, if you notice the team loadout right now, there's three armor. I would say if you put all those armor players together, you get one effective armor player out of that group. They needed another air, and that's what I find on this USA side. You really need a lot of air because um, you have a lot of ground to cover. Look at this like fortress. There's an absolute fortress up here with everything. Um, if you noticed, I don't know if uh, I caught it on this time, but Dex did make the call, which is I, I love. I love having Dex in here on your team. He made the call to ignore town. Like he saw that that initial push failed. You know, this guy didn't get the uh, the memo. But in your, if, if you're in the situation where the town push fails, you just have to kind of revert to the flank strategy. I like to refer to this as rat tactics. Ouch. So I see Sergeant Pepper with the air to airs. He's, you know, dangerous, dangerous player. Um, the air to airs. So you have to, you have to do rat tactics. I wonder what Donald's going to use with this TA. You have to work the flanks. Kind of, uh... I mean, don't let this happen. It looks like, yeah, Sergeant, now that this team has realized, oh, yeah, like, they're not pushing anywhere. They just have so, like, so, Claude is now armor? Okay. They have, like, three armor now? Weird air-to-air -air there on the Siege on guy. Um, but they do manage to clear this up. They have two, there's two air players on the opposing team now. That's going to be a problem. Uh, Dex is going to have a lot of trouble containing this, especially if Dex, uh, if General X piles in and, oh man, yeah, this is, this is, that's a woof right there. There's a lot of new players coming into the pubs. Like it's a wild West situation right now. Like in, this is in late October. I'm recording this. Some really insanely bad pubs just because of the player mix and guys like you got to chill out a little bit on abusing the new players. Like, if you noticed in this one, Peru, who's real armor, told Artyom to spec. Like, don't be telling people to spec in pubs, guys. And just don't, even if they're doing stupid shit, 
Like, don't be such a huge assholes about it, or else, like, we're never going to get full pubs. Or, like, people are going to, like, Studerball is going to spend 10 minutes, or, like, spend two days trying to tell these guys how to download and set up a game for you to verbally abuse them, and their, their weak little constitutions are just going to make them stop playing right away. And it's going to be a big waste of time. So, like, stop abusing people. I mean, this, this situation, this guy has, like, a rank... So I feel like you can verbally abuse him a little bit. This is beautiful. Just crossing the bridge with the guy, the light tanks, and the and the guys on the just running in the open. The ass clan is really showing its its true potential here. The light tank. He's telling the team where he's going though. There's that. And this is at least suckering them in. Like if you actually played the uh, if you played the the campaign version of this, the whole plan is to sucker the Russians into the town so that they can drop a nuke on them. Like, I wonder what's going to happen on this game. And ouch, C. John runs into a lot of AA. The steer ball is no slouch on the AA side. But notice the rat tactic. The, the rat tactics are working. You know, these guys are doing... Oh, Clark. Dropping <laughs> directly on the point. These guys are not... Taking the flanks from this team. And then, and like, this is really hard. So, like, this strategy has, like, back ass words, as you might think, like, just completely ignoring town. Just let the noob come in and sucker them into not moving. And, like, what? This was this team. Okay. Somebody, somebody did that. Laser guy to bomb that shit. They shot a nuke at them, and Elian is shooting, shooting a nuke. If you notice, Elian was saving TA. And look where the nuke is going. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, whose nuke was that? I didn't see. It doesn't even show the game. Actually, the game showed nobody's nuke. Okay, that's interesting. Um, Terrible nukes all around. Why would you nuke there, guys? This is a great nuke. This is like the nuke that's supposed to happen. Terrible nuke. That's going to haunt them in the future. So I wonder who that was. Was that Studerball? Was that you, Claude? Was that General X? I would like to know. Um, funny nuke to kill the arty, but you don't nuke there. You nuke the bridge, your guys. Because what do you, what do you think is gonna happen? Like, now you can jump in the town if you nuke to this point. You at least decap this, blow the bridge, buy you some time to get the uh, get the town back. You know, and this can be just clustered and shit. Like, I don't know. And oh my god, look at this. So Blitz is in, we're in a full-on 8v8 situation now, with the tank blobbing, the air blobbing, everything is just blobbing, this ass guy, We've got a lot of AA now, that's great, like one of your artillery would fuck this up, but we need some ground game, I don't know what Donald Duck is doing, like, Donald Duck, read the room, man, like, you don't always have to send your entire force to the flank, like, and, and support yourself with choppers, that's not going to do shit. You can't even kill a scout with that. Look at all where all the AI, AA is. We're trying to push the town. I mean, fuck, guys. Everybody here is clueless. This guy's clueless. Elian is too busy microing somewhere else. He's got 40 TA in his hand somehow. Uh, but he should be chucking these into the town. Everybody is just AWOL. Like, these light tanks, send those over here. These heavy tanks, send them over here. I mean... Has it's killing me, guys. This bridge is still down, too, so, like, you don't even need to send lots of units there. Definitely don't need to spend, like, 4,000 reinforcement points worth of shit there. Uh, but here we go. This is gonna be a dirty... Oh, Clark. Oh, he dodged it. No, he, okay. he almost dodged most of it. Uh, oh, yeah, air to air? Out of siege in your units, Oh, man, that hurts. Man, lots of good air to airs this game. And look at Siegen. Uh he's crushing it as air. Air is a really good has a good time on this map. Uh, outscoring all the lamentable armor players and even Dex. But Dex is feeding like a hundred percent of his TA to Alien. Like Dex doesn't give a shit. Here we go. More bridge blowing. That was bridge blowing on the other team. Now the other team is blowing the bridge. Like, what the fuck are you guys on? Stop doing this, guys. Like, blow this bridge if you got to, but... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, and so now we get... Yeah, De or Donald is just ignoring pushing town. He's just content completely sitting here. Uh, but you have to, like, you know... 
change of plans sometime. Here we go. We got two air players. And, and notice this team is now completely in shambles. Like, the other team has a foothold now in the town. And they haven't managed to, to push the flanks. And this is the path to victory for the USA team. And I think it's easier in, it's easier to play USA in an 8v8. Um, look at this. All oh, the, the blobbing lights onto the flank. You love to see it from Clark. Oh, is he going to stay in that smoke too and get tank buster? That would be funny. Um, oh, he's going to push through it. Is he going to sucker all the... Oh, yeah. yeah. He dodged it. Oh, the Studer ball didn't. Yeah, completely ineffectual attacks. It's a lot easier to play USA in an AV8, though. Because, look, you can have mutually supporting stuff on the flanks. Like, Dexter was there in a big way. And there was armor there. And there was Alien there. And then on this side, there was a little bit of AA. Like, look, we've got... To play like if this guy wasn't useless, they would definitely have had enough AA to support a whole armor player there. So you can have a whole lot, of, and then your air is just banging around. So it works a lot better to just do rat tactics on the flanks in an eight v eight in a five v five or a four v four. You're stretched so thin. If you just ignore the town, then they'll just pile onto a side and beat you there, fortify it, and then pile onto another side. Like, I don't know, like, we'd have to, I'd have to explore this kind of completely negating town strategy. And then even now, they do have a good position. Another reason why you want to nuke the bridge as USSR is to destroy this cover. Like, notice that this cover still exists. Like, there's still trees and shit uh, for this team. They have no cover. Like, you really want to nuke that bit of woods? And then they can do stuff like this. They have a place they can fan out to avoid the artillery. You don't want a blob here. You want to fan out like Dexter is doing. This inf is a little blob, but he's a noob, so it's okay. Then you just want to poke. Like what JC Poppy is doing. JC Poppy is making a mistake of not having a heavy tank here that's supported uh, to prevent an easy cap from these guys. But, you know, we can't have everything we want. The important thing is that the flanks are still protected. This team is now getting sucked into a vortex of destruction right here. Um, and they have no hope now. Like, they're balled up. They're going to get already to death. It's over for them. You know, how do you lose as a USSR team? Well, you know, these guys did it. This guy who dropped a shit nuke definitely deserves the, like, the least valuable player award. Um, and they're pushing it over. With just three minutes left, they, they've equalized it. So, the rat tactics worked. Uh, so, good good on for Dex for making the call. Uh, Elian held it together. And even the gold guys, especially Siegen, Donald, I'm sure he held, this, he held the flank down pretty well. I would have liked to see some lights helping out in the other fronts. Like you don't have to all in that flank. Especially with the bridge blown. They blew it again, too. Those maniacs. Um, they just can't help themselves. And yeah, the RT already is just coming crashing down. It's a, like, and can they get a, can they get the cap? Aliens up here. Oh, that's brutal artillery. This is why I love pub in on this map. Get them in the spawn raping position. And then, you know, you're trucking carpets up here. You're drop, dropping arties. It's good times. But I don't know, like, okay. Spirit gun definitely dropped the ball as the infantry player. Who else? And, like, Claude was infantry at one point. I swear to God he was. He dropped the ball. They didn't give Spirit Gun enough, uh, enough TA either. And look at that, air to air. Just thinning the herds. But, like, looking at Spirit Gun's score here, definitely lost the infantry battle. Even though he had town handed to him on a platter. But sometimes, again, he, he got tricked. Town, town handed on a platter, but he, he didn't get the... Nobody really helped him up here, and this team had a much better, like, combined effort to defend. And I think maybe it is it is easier for this side to sneak up there with the support. Because this way is a little exposed if you're uh, USSR. Might be a thing to consider. And yeah, the air is just ripping them apart now. And we'll just play him out. They're blowing this bridge too, guys. Jeez. 
Um, so yeah, Elian definitely carried that. I understand why he posted it. Um, also, it's a rare USA win. Yeah, cringe bridge LGBs, Lel. Yeah, definitely. That's a those are a lot of cringe LGBs. See John best air. So he definitely a gold game. Like this is a gold team. This is a team is as gold as it gets, and uh, he played well. Uh, so yeah, that's a GG. Thanks to Elian for sharing the replay. Uh, keep posting your replays, guys. I can't be on a lot all the time playing all the games uh so keep posting them i'll try to do them yeah take it easy